Hello everyone, today's video is uh, at a request for Joanne. She's one of my blog readers. She asked me how I got my uh, stamp so perfect on uh, my last manicure and I had to explain to her that my stamps are almost never perfect. I never am able to get them done perfectly the first time around. That's the great thing about gel polish is if you do get your stamp positioned wrong or not all the way the way you like it, you'll simply use non-acetone remover, take it off, and redo it. So that's what I find myself frequently doing when I stamp. I am never perfect uh, the first time around, almost never at least. And uh, so this video is to show you uh, how I used that particular Dashika image. I've used um, two coats of the IBD whipped cream uh, cured and the sticky layer removed. One swatch is for the stamp, the other is for the jeweled effect that I'll show you. The stamping polish is Sally Hansen Insta Dry. This is Gone Gray. It's a beautiful metallic gunmetal gray and it stamps wonderfully as do most of the Insta Dry colors. The stamp is off the big SDP uh, P plate from Dashika, and this is the image that we'll be using. The image is big enough to cover the entire nail, however I've never used it that way. I like the positive and negative space um, that you get um, by using this particular image and kind of like on this nail I, I find myself doing more of these where it's just kind of off to the side rather than covering the whole nail and so that's how I use this image I will use most of the flourishy side rather than the uh, straight line side uh, to, to show on the nail I'll show you what I mean in just a moment when I actually stamp it All right, so we'll get our uh, Sally Hansen Gone Gray. Now, as always, all these Dashika, especially the SDP plates, all of them wonderful designs on here, wonderfully engraved. I've never had a problem with any of my stamps off of these plates. And you see how nice, nicely that uh, transfers to the pad. Now for this particular uh, stamp, I would like to, you'll see that I'll cut off part of that bottom part. And again, I want more of the flourishy side to show on the nail. So about a fourth of the nail I want to still show white. So I'll cut off a little bit of that bottom portion and then roll the image onto the nail. and there you have it. Now sometimes if you find that you haven't positioned it correctly, if you cut off part of the design that you wanted, I've done this several times uh, with my own manicures where I might cut off that top part by accident. I'm looking more making sure I'm getting the sides covered and I don't actually see where I'm placing the top part. I've done that before so again just grab some of your non-acetone remover and remove the stamp. Just be sure that it is non-acetone because if you use straight acetone it will affect the gel polish since it's not coated with your top coat yet. So just be sure it is non-acetone and that leaves your coating intact. I'm going to clean my stamper with my nifty little lint roller and now we're ready to restamp and for this one I'll position this a little bit differently so you can see uh, one effect um, as opposed to this one I'll, I'll stamp it to where basically the entire image uh, covers the nail Get a little piece of dust off that So position it and then roll it onto the nail. It 
So less of the white shows. It is, your, of course, your personal preference, how much of that image that you would like to, to show. So there you have it, a beautiful medium gray metallic, not as silvery, shiny as silver, and not quite as harsh as black. This is a beautiful color over white. Now for the accent nail, uh, the pieces that I've used are these hollow circles. I think these are five millimeters. And into that I have placed a, a five millimeter, or sorry, SS5 Swarovski crystal. And surrounding those I have added these 1.5 round silver studs. So I've placed these items onto the card along with a little dot of some foundation gel. I use uh, Gelish foundation. That is my preferred glue for my pieces. Once cured, all your pieces will be um, uh, locked in place. This is a real neat way to keep things onto your nail without having to use super glue and it soaks right off when you're ready to soak off. So place a, an amount on your nail with a, just enough to kind of um, extend it past that circle that you're putting down. And place your circle and then into that place your crystal. And we're placing our round metal studs around that. These little, little things can flip over quite frequently, a little frustrating sometimes, but we'll get those into place. And as always, the great thing about using the foundation gel is uh, you're able to move around your pieces to your heart's content until you get your design where you would like it. And again, move around your pieces where you want them before you actually cure it. And once you have them where you would like them, you can go ahead and cure that. I'm using an LED lamp, so we'll cure that for 30 seconds. And we'll be right back. All right, this has cured, and I've added a coat of top coat to each of the swatches. And now we're ready to remove the sticky layer. And there you have your simple but elegant Dashika design along with crystal accent nail. So I uh, hope you have found this helpful Joanne and anyone else and as always if you have any questions or comments I would appreciate you leaving down at the bottom for me as always I do appreciate your support um, and until next time I will see you later. <music>